You know, there's nothing better than sitting in an easy chair with a bowl of popcorn and watching your favorite TV show. <laughs> He's right. There's nothing better than sitting in an easy chair with a bowl of popcorn and watching your favorite TV show, which I assume you're all doing that right now. You'll be sorry you did that, Garfield. Real sorry. He won't eat much. Garfield, come save me from the awful, ugly, horrible mouse! You're not exactly the best-looking creature on the planet either, pal. <laughs> Guess I've got to do this. Get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it! He sounds like me when Normal visits. Hey, do you remember routine number eight? My favorite! Oh, help, help! I should have known better than to enter a house where Garfield and Cash is on my own! Leave this home and never come back. I am leaving and I will never be back as long as Garfield the cat is here. <sighs> Thanks, Garfield. <laughs> Routine number eight. I don't know what it is. Ever since I was a child, I've had this fear of mice. Have you had a fear of mice ever since you were a child? <laughs> or a pair of heights, flying, public speaking, snakes, or people named Sid, then come to Dr. Whipple's Fear and Phobia Fighting Facility. Dr. Whipple's Fear and Phobia Fighting Facility can cure over 10,000 common fears, including spatula phobia. Fear of sitting on a grilled cheese sandwich. Vododiodophobia. The fear of finding raisins in your coleslaw. Oh, that one keeps me up at night. Or even zitta bada wada wada boink boink freebophobia. The fear of accidentally moving your entire family to Peru and becoming a wheelbarrow repairman. You'd be amazed how often that happens. No matter what you're afraid of, Dr. Whipple can cure you at his fear and phobia fighting facility. Hmm. That's it, Garfield. I'm going to go to Dr. Whipple's fear and phobia fighting facility and have him cure me of my fear of mice. I wonder if Dr. Whipple can cure me of my fear of what's going to go wrong with this. Of course I can cure your fear of mice, Mr. Arbuckle. While I'm at it, I'll also cure you of huge somophobia. Uh, huge somophobia? Of what's that? That's the fear of getting my bill. Eh, uh, that's a wise thought. This is my phobia flusher. <sighs> It can remove or also give you any known phobia. Let's see, I'll set it to remove and to musophobia. That's the fear of mice. And then we just give you a few seconds of it. <laughs> and now you should be unafraid of mice. Let's test it, Sandra. I'm... I'm not afraid. Garfield, I'm not afraid of mice! <laughs> now, just because I'm no longer afraid of mice doesn't change your job. I still don't want to see any in the house. But tell them to do a better job of hiding. It says here that a fear of cats is called gatophobia. That's right. Just out of curiosity, what would happen if you implanted a fear of cats into a cat? Hmm, I don't know. Let's try it and find out. Let's see. Add fear, gotophobia. I should have gotten that other fear removed. I'm getting scared of his bill. I'll follow them to record the findings of my little experiment. <laughs> wow, a cat who's afraid of cats. I wonder what that'll be like. I'm going to go start cooking dinner. Great. Whatever you're making, make more of it than that. Hiya, Garfield. Oh, hi, Harry. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Garfield. 
what are you doing up there? <laughs> go away. Just go away. I'm not coming down till you go away. All right, all right. I'm going away. Mm. Gee, I always thought Garfield liked me. <laughs> this footage will be great for my TV show. In my moment of panic, I forgot I'm not good at climbing, especially down. I can't wait until Garfield sees this new lip gloss I got. I'm sure he's going to love it. There you are, Garfield. How do you like the way I look today? <laughs> Make me look like a monster. Do <laughs> 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 you understand any of that? No, no, no. It doesn't make no sense. No what? <laughs> 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 When Garfield's not around, I can watch TV without getting hurled into a trash can. I assume you're all doing that right now. Coming up later today on the Dr. Whipple Show, I show you how I instill the fear of cats into a cat. Here you see the specimen frightened by every cat he sees, including himself. <laughs> Garfield? <laughs> <laughs> this is my chance to get even with Garfield at last! I hope I don't run into any cats, including myself. Hello, Garfield! <laughs> Meow! <laughs> I'm never happy to see Normal, but that encounter was worse than ever. How about this one? Let's hide. Where can I hide? How about in here with oh, me? Sure, I'll just hide in. Ah! <laughs> go away! Go away! Go away! <laughs> oh, I'll go away, Garfield. If you promise you'll never mail me to Abu Dhabi ever again. But that's my favorite thing. No, no. All right, I promise. I'll never mail you to Abu Dhabi again. <laughs> <laughs> Normal make you do. Promise to never mail him to Abu Dhabi again. I don't know why I was so afraid of him. Oh, I can tell you why. Come here. Hmm. Dr. Whipple, huh? I think I'm gonna go borrow that invention of his. I'm heading home, Doctor. <laughs> See you in the morning. <laughs> Remove gotophobia, fear of cats. I think I'm cured. Yes, I am no longer afraid of me. Okay now, let's program a few other fears in here for other folks. bother me again, he'll never even come near me. And if he does, he's promised never to mail me to Abu Dhabi again. <sighs> Scared of something normal? Yes, but I don't know what. Maybe you have cutophobia. Cutophobia? What's that? Fear of being too adorable. What's it? <laughs> What 
am I gonna do? I'm too adorable, and I always will be. Ah! Not in Abu Dhabi. They have a different standard of adorableness over there. Well, then <gasps> send me to Abu Dhabi. But I promise not to. I release you from your promise. Uh -huh. Please, send me to Abu Dhabi. <laughs> send me to Abu Dhabi. Send me to Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. Well, if you insist. Oh, I don't know how to thank you for this, Garfield. Just staying there forever will do fine. Here, 15th class cattle bars raid, please. Ah! Nicely done, Goff. You gonna return that invention to Dr. Whipple? Sure. He'll need it to remove the fear I gave him. Bye, Nermo. <laughs> it's a new one I invented. I call it animatophobia. Animatophobia? Yeah, it's the fear of being in a cartoon show. <laughs> I'm... I'm in a cartoon show! Oh no! I'm still in a cartoon show! <laughs> and out here too! No matter where I go, I'm still in a cartoon show! Why, ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's <cute>. <laughs> <laughs> Not cute. Whew, not cute. Definitely not cute. Boy, that's about as not cute as you can get. Nermo, remind me again how much longer you're planning to overstay your welcome. I've told you like 11 times, Garfield. Well, tell me 12. <sighs> the cutest pet pageant finals are tonight at the town hall. I, of course, will win as I always do. I am, after all, the cutest creature in the universe as we know it. Which reminds me, if you're gonna look great, smell great. <sighs> Don't worry, Garf. After I win, I'll depart. <laughs> Eventually. In other news, a skunk was spotted downtown this morning, prompting the sheriff to lock down the area. A skunk? Ooh, in this town? Yucko! Skunks are mammals. They can create an unpleasant odor that clings to people or other animals. Ugh, I hate skunks. And I'm sure they're not wild about you either, Nermo. It's just that if a skunk were to spoil my delicate fur, I'd lose the cutest pet contest. Ugh, I would never survive such public humiliation. I'd have to leave town forever. Oh, I like the sound of that. Skunks are small, about the size of an average house cat. Each has a distinctive white stripe on its back. Hmm, size of a cat, striped down his back. And now for the final touch. Voila! <laughs> now all I need is bad body odor. Woohoo! I'm in luck. It's trash day. That means the fullest, smelliest cans of the week. Observe my fine diving form. Cutting <laughs> fish. I'm off to a good start. <laughs> Dirty socks. <laughs> Repulsive. Old eggshells and banana peels left over from my old series. Disgusting. Limburger cheese made during the Italian Renaissance. Wow, this really smells. And now, so do I. Watch as I get rid of the annoying one. Ugh, what is that awful smell? That what? would be moi. <laughs> I enjoyed that so much. Let's watch it again in slow motion. <laughs> oh, this is so good. <laughs> Relax, Odie. It's only me, Gar. I guess I better go wash off all this paint. Garfield, Odie, Nermal, lunch is ready. <laughs> Let's go.
Let's go! Let's go! Please don't come anywhere near me. I'll do whatever you want. Uh, here, you can have this. <laughs> Maybe that shower can wait. Let's see what else I can do with my newfound repulsive powers. See those two dogs? Meanest in the neighborhood. Ordinarily, I'd see them and then I'd run the other way. But this time... <laughs> I'm beginning to enjoy stinking. Calzona for you, and rigatoni and clamsos for you. Oh, that's lovely. Ooh, a pizza. Something wrong with your pizza, Mrs. Bachigalou. It stinks. And if it's not the pizza, where could that horrible stench come from? Maybe you put anchovies on it. <laughs> yeah, there's something to be said for bad hygiene. And we have reports of the skunks sighted all over the city. So many so that some fear there are now two skunks. Two? Uh, I can't worry about that now. I have to go get ready for the no. cutest pet contest tonight. Well, come along with me if you want to. The mayor has ordered all available forces to mobilize to find that... Oh, dear me, I, I think that skunk's around here someplace. This is great. I should have gone skunk years ago. Huh? <gasps> All right, hold it right there, skunk. Put your hands up and don't try anything smelling. All this for a tiny little skunk? Like, really? <laughs> out because I thought you were a fellow skunk, but I see... Yeah, just a cat with a bad paint job, but you don't smell bad at all. I thought Forget that... everything you heard about skunks. We're actually quite clean and tidy. Want to know <laughs> our secret? <laughs> a perfume bottle? Yep. Eau de boutois. Every skunk carries one at all times. See, we can't defend ourselves against predators, so that stinky perfume keeps us safe. Ew, very nasty. <laughs> They're all gone now. You're safe to go. Wow, thanks. You saved me. Don't even mention it. At first, I thought it was kind of fun to scare people off, but after a while, isn't it a bit... Well, kind of lonely to be a skunk? It's all right. We skunks are pretty solitary creatures anyway. Oh, there's one thing I've always dreamt of doing, though. The cutest pet contest? 
I know, I know. Pathetic, right? <sighs> but it would be nice to be known for something other than my bad body odor. Hmm. I'll make you a deal. You help me get this pain off, and maybe I can make your dream come true. And now, people, the moment you've been waiting for. These are the three finalists in this year's cutest pain competition! Oh. oh, just get on with it. Oh, just give me my trophy. We'll be announcing the winner right after this commercial. Don't go away. Oh, I have time to freshen up. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there's where I left it. Envelope and read the decision of the judges as to which of these pets is truly the cutest of the cute. That winner embodies the spirit and the beauty and poise and and just being adorable and cute. And let's get this over with because I think I need a window and a gas mask. And the winner is. Not you! Not me! No, 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 no. Uh, take the knot out. <gasps> I, 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 I don't understand. This vile, nasty smell can't possibly be coming from moi. Secure! Ah! Get that smelly cat out of here! <laughs> no, 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 no. You see, I'm the winner. I'm always the winner. It's my birthright. But just look at me. Can't you see? I'm the cutest pet in the whole wide world. Uh, I protest. I demand a recount. And I demand a recount of the recount. Uh, are you sure about this? Sure, I'm sure. Okay, now the short one final, so you just get out there. But people always run away from me. Well, they won't this time. Go. A skunk. <laughs> <laughs> As if it didn't smell bad enough in here. Oh, hey, he doesn't smell bad. In fact, he smells pretty good for a skunk. Well, since there are no other contestants left, I guess that this year's winner of the cutest pet contest is... A skunk! Oh. Everyone feels like a skunk now and then. And sometimes, all you need to pass the smell test is a little perfume. you just love a trip to one of our great national parks? National park, yeah. A place with bad TV reception, little insects that bite you, and no pizza delivery. <laughs> <laughs> and worst of all, four days with normal. There's got to be an ejector seat button here somewhere. I just need a little cologne, so I smell like myself. <laughs> <laughs> right, eau de pew. I know it's hard to imagine, Odie, but things could still get a lot worse. Yeah, John could have decided to bring along the... Where's the kitty cat? Where's the cute doggy? Yay! Twins. Where was that moronic nephew of mine? <laughs> Hi, Uncle John. Hi, girls. <laughs> uh, I did mention that the twins would be joining us. Didn't I, guys? <sighs> we brought adorable outfits for you to try on! We're gonna have so much fun! Help! 
someone! Call the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals by dressing them up, funny! Come on out, guys. Take a deep breath and enjoy the smell of a clean, beautiful national park. You look terrible dressed like this. Of course, I don't look as bad as you two do. No, he's probably right. They look so cute. They should get some sort of merit badge for being adorable. I already have six. All right, guys, we're here at this beautiful national park. There's hiking, there's swimming, there's fishing, there's exploring the forest. What would you like to do? <gasps> no, we are not going home now. If we hurry, I can catch a nap before my afternoon nap. Out, out, out. I didn't drive all this way so you three could sit in the car. This is the great outdoors. Well, if it was all that great, they'd move it indoors. What are you watching, Drusilla? I'm Minerva. You're Drusilla. Oh, I'm always getting us confused. Is that Celeste? It's a new show that tells all about what she's up to. Shh. But the biggest news is the upcoming concert by oh. Celeste St. Clair. Upcoming concert. I've been looking for you all the mornings of my days I've been looking for you, but you're so far away I've been looking for you all the mornings of my days I've been looking for you to come to me and stay My spirit's running low without you The time is going so slow Without you, I cannot feel alive. I may not long survive. Just thoughts of long ago. Without you, I've been looking for you all the evenings of my life. I've been looking for you, but you're just alive. I've been looking for you all the evenings of my life. I've been looking for you to. John wants us to enjoy ourselves here. How can we enjoy ourselves? <gasps> there's no TV, there's no microwave. Hey guys, I found something cool. This is Echo Point. <laughs> No! What's so cool about an echo? What's cool is that you can do this. Check it. Normal cat is the cutest creature in the entire world! Normal cat is the cutest creature in the entire world! Normal cat is the cutest creature in the entire world! Normal cat is the cutest creature in the entire world! <laughs> Garfield Cat is much, much cuter than normal. That's not true. Nobody thinks that. It's a dirty lie. Normal is much cuter. Hey, don't blame me. It's your echo. Okay, where'd the pooch go? In there? There's no one in there. He's right. There's no one in here. Psst, Folly, you gotta be quiet, gotta be quiet. There's someone in that bush. A couple of someones. Uh -huh. Okay, they know we're here. Presenting three raccoons. Three raccoons? Ah! 
Hi, guys. How's it going? I'm Farley. Oh, he's right. He's Farley. I'm Charlie. And that's gnarly. You're city folks, aren't you? Aren't you? Well, welcome to the forest primeval, or as we call it, home. I'm Garfield. The scared dog is Odie, and the annoying cat is Nermal. Yeah, we're from the city. The city? See, I told you Farley and Charlie, didn't I? I told you they were city folks, didn't I? Didn't I? Oh, you were right, Gnarly. Oh, so right. Welcome to our forest. You can have anything you want. Wild uh -uh. strawberries? Strawberries! We'll wash them for you. Watch it stuff is like a favorite hobby. Are you crazy? Raccoons are full of germs. Uh, thanks. We're good. Huh. Uh, what's it like, life in this city? Oh, yeah, because we've never been to one, but then again, why would we? We have everything we need right here. Everything you need? Please. You don't even have cable TV. The beauty of nature's around you. I'm way too cold and way too wet. The things out here will astound you. I can't get on the internet. Huh? We require food to go. I can't <laughs> miss my favorite show. Everything, Everything is oh so wrong. So get us back where we belong. And be free of all the stress that we don't have in the wilderness. Escape that dark, depressing strife. Try the sunny side of life You can be free of all the cares Except, of course, for the snakes and bears Escape the dark, depressing strife And try the sunny side of life Enjoy the sunny side of life Garfield! Odie! Uh, if you'll excuse us, we must really return to our fully furnished five-star luxury trailer Au revoir. Have fun in the rain, guys. Gee, they seem like nice guys. Oh, you're right. You're so right. I don't know. They don't seem like nice guys to me. Uh, and you're right, too. Come on. Yeah, we need to get out of this rain. Let's take a peek at this trailer of theirs. Yeah, good idea. Oh, oh, now you're both right. Who wants popcorn? I want popcorn, and a pizza, and a corned beef on rye, or oh, a taco. Look! It's Celeste! I'm not sharing my popcorn. We'll just not see them. That wasn't very nice, was it? See, I told you they weren't nice. Oh, you were right. We need to teach them a lesson. Yeah, yeah, here's what we're gonna do. Tonight, after they're asleep, we're gonna push that trailer of theirs over to the poison ivy bed. Yeah. Hey, like that. That's a good idea, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> Priscilla and Minerva, want to lend me a hand? I'm making Liz a nice bouquet with a little of this redwood vine. <laughs> Not to be confused with poison ivy, which makes people scratch and itch. Uh, actually, that is poison ivy, Uncle John. <laughs> no, 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 no. I know the difference between redwood vine and poison ivy! <laughs> Some sort of weird bird. Yeah, it's the rare red rash shrieking arbuckle. <laughs> Do we really have to go? We just got here. I'm sorry, girls, but uh, I need to go somewhere to stop this itching. <laughs> uh, did you tell Garfield, Odie, and Normal that we're about to leave? 
Ah, good. Uh, make sure they get in while I ah, finish packing. Hurry up and get in. Uncle Tom says we're about to leave. <laughs> <laughs> To us. Never, never trust guys who wear masks all the time. <laughs> Odie, how are you doing? <laughs> Good work, boy. Now untie us. All right. Are we all set to <laughs> go? All set. Garfield, Odie, and Normal are back in the trailer. Ah, then let's go home. <laughs> It doesn't matter where he's going. What matters is the without us part. Here at this beautiful national park. There's hiking, there's swimming, there's fishing, there's exploring the forest. What would you like to do? There's someone in that bush. Ta -da! Ta -da! Did you tell Garfield, Odie, and Normal that we're about to leave? Yes. Here they come now. Never, never trust guys who wear masks all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Great place they got here! Yeah, yeah, yeah! I think they pressed this button! <laughs> <laughs> I need to get home and do something about this. Ah, itching! Why are they playing the music so loud in the trailer? They could at least play a Celeste St. Clair song. Charlie, Charlie, look, uh, I found some popcorn. Sweet. I want to try some. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's just a map. He's left us. John's heading back to the city and he's left us. Abandoned here in the woods. Far from food, far from shelter, far from my first stylist, far from an internet hotspot, far from... What else are we far from? A good Chinese restaurant. Far from a good Chinese restaurant, far from a bad Chinese restaurant, far from any of the necessities of life. <laughs> Calm down, you two. This isn't a crisis. Sure looks like one. No. We just have to wait right here, because before long, John will realize he's driving around those three miserable raccoons, and he'll come back for us. You think so? Sure. Just take a seat and wait. John isn't as dumb as he looks. I take it back. John is as dumb as he looks. Maybe even dumber. So, what do we do now? Fearless leader, we need to... Oh! What's that growling? A lion? A tiger? A puma? No, that's my stomach growling. Shh. Uh. Huh? What's that you found, boy? Oh, it's a road map. Hey, this might come in handy. Okay, now, let's think. What do animals do in the wild in order to survive? Oh, 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 I got this one. Look adorable and cute until someone comes along and rescues them and gives them salami sandwiches. No. 
Although I like the part about the salami sandwiches. No, they uh, hunt other animals. It's time we get back in touch with our inner wild self and find ourselves some grub. Yeah! Let's go off! I've been spoiled. Lasagna's really easy to hunt. Tastier, too. <coughs> I think it's a rabbit. Go get him, Odie. We're not going to eat a rabbit. Of course not. But we might be able to smooch some carrots off him. That nasty perfume of yours. I'm getting out of here. Huh? <laughs> 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 oh, sure. oh. It's that honey he was after, not us. <laughs> Now watch as a horde of angry bees shoot out of the hive when he hits it. Oldest cartoon cliche ever. No bees, huh? If that big stupid bear can do it, so can we. What is it, Odie? <laughs> it's really not what you think. <laughs> thing isn't supposed to happen to you when you're this adorable. <gasps> Maybe I can hide in a cave. I know from watching cartoons that you never run into a dangerous beast in a cave. Garfield, <laughs> please tell me that was your stomach growling. <laughs> Ooh, that 
was Harry. <laughs> yeah, they think they're God, which means the honey is all mine. Um, all <laughs> ours. Honey's all ours, as in all of us. <laughs> Mmm, this honey is delicious. Mm. Yep, way better than the one that comes in the plastic bottles from the supermarket. I guess living in the wild has its plus sides after all. <laughs> For the love of lasagna, Odie, relax. They're beavers, not wolves. That honey sure smells yummy. We'd love to sample it. I'm sure you would. Now beat it, Vermin. This honey's ours. Oh. We earned it. Hmm. Wait, wait, Ow. wait. There's enough honey for two more hungry mouths. Garfield, you all right? You're sharing food. You never share food with anyone. Yeah, I can't figure out why I did that. But I promise, so... Wow, thanks. That's very generous of you. Yeah, we owe you one, guys. <laughs> okay, time to go to sleep. <sighs> I have every confidence that when we awake in the morning, John will have come back to save us. Do you really, Garfield? No, but it sounded like something somebody had to say. <laughs> I never knew there were so many stars in the sky. Yeah, looks kind of pretty up there. <laughs> Good night, guys. <sighs> you girls go up to your room. Between this lotion and how swollen my eyes are, I can barely see. <laughs> Oh, you'll be a lot better in the morning, Uncle John. Yeah, a lot better, Uncle John. <laughs> I'm confused. Is he Uncle John or Cousin John? I don't know. I can't even tell us apart, Jacilla. Minerva, see? Mm. Oh, they're right. I'll stop itching in the morning. I just wish I could see better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good night, Garfield. Good night, Odie. Good night, Normal. Odie? Are you there? Go on, go to the door. Beat the door. Don't do it. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Is something wrong? You usually give me a good night slurp. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> good night, boy. Skin lotion. <laughs> Look at all this food. Yeah, yeah. We have hit the jackpot, we have. Mm. Oh, you're both right. Um. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hold it. Will you, Garfield? How's a mouse supposed to sleep with you making such a... Hey, you're not Garfield. And you're not telling anyone. Just love a trip to one of our great national parks? There's someone in that bush. Ta -da! Ta -da! Tonight, after they're asleep, we're gonna push that trailer of theirs over to the poison ivy bed. <laughs> <laughs> Never trust guys who wear masks all the time. Good night, Garfield. Good night, Odie. Hey, you're not Garfield. You are not telling anyone. <laughs> Don't you recognize us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Garfield, he's Odie, and me, I'm 
the cutest kitten in the whole wide world. <laughs> you imposters! And I'm gonna see that John finds out about this. No, you are not. No, oh, no, you don't. You stay in here in case we want the Zate. Oh, yeah, yeah, love mice. But we won't on account of we got tastier things here to chow down on. Right, right. <laughs> Shall we? Hey, John. I'll have a fifth helping of morning lasagna. I don't know what's worse, being lost in the woods or waking up next to normal. Oh, has John come for us? Why does he come for us? Don't worry. Any minute now, John will realize he has a house full of raccoons and not us. Goodbye, Uncle John. Goodbye. Have a good day at school. So, I'm still itching a little bit, Liz. Plus, I'm still having a little trouble with my eyes. <laughs> you won't believe this, but you know what Minerva and Drusilla did before they left for school? They dressed Garfield, Odie, and Nermal up again. <laughs> uh, no, not dresses. They're in, like, cheap raccoon costumes. Pretty ratty ones, too. <laughs> and they don't smell so good. I thought you wanted to wait back there for John to find us. My common sense and my empty stomach decided we had to start walking. It's a good thing we have this map, if we only knew how to read it. You'd think at least they'd put a you are here sign or something on these. What we ought to do is follow this river. Too bad we don't have a boat. Huh? Oh, hi, you guys. They're the ones who shared their honey with us yesterday. How's it going? Need a hand with anything? Um, actually, we do. Is there any way you guys could make us a boat? <laughs> <laughs> a boat? We usually don't do custom orders, but since you were so nice to us... We will make an exception. One boat coming up. <laughs> there you go, me bucko. <laughs> Thanks again, guys. Good luck out there on your journey home. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Row, row, row that boat gently down the stream. Right over the river, life is but a dream. Waters can carry you with such grace. Take you to some better place. In this direction. Row, row, row that boat gently down the creek. Right over that river, find all that you see. Row, row, row that boat gently down the stream. Right over that river, life is but a dream. Right over that river, life is but a dream. Stroke, stroke. We seem to be going faster and faster. Look, we don't even need to paddle. Ah, we could just let the river currents carry us along. Hmm? Garfield, is that your tummy grumbling again? Not mine. Mine wants burritos, so it's only grumbling in Spanish. <laughs> The word you're looking for is waterfall. <laughs> Reverse course! Stroke, 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 stroke! It's no use! Stroke, this is it! <laughs> if you see lasagna, tell it I loved it! Ha ha ha!
So, which way now? <laughs> Beats me. The map was in the canoe. What? Well, let's just keep walking and figure it out. I shouldn't have to do any of this. I have awards and trophies. I'm like royalty, you know. Oh, royalty? Did you hear that, Monique? I think I finally found the right one. You think so, Fun Fun? Highly possible. Let's be ready with the frog to the rescue routine. Welcome to the Marshlands, Trishares. Oh, a frog! A frog! You can go away! Oh, my name is Fun Fun. What is your name, handsome? I do not talk to frogs. The dog's Odie. I'm Garfield. And this, I'm afraid, is normal. I do not talk to frogs. We're lost. Is there any way you could guide us across the swamp we seem to be in? Why, gladly. I'll do that, but I just have one teeny little favor to ask in return. I need to get home. Give her anything she wants. I want a kiss from Normal here. <laughs> anything but that. <laughs> Even if I give you flowers? <laughs> Never! I would never kiss a frog. Never! Lips that have touched flies, you shall never touch mine. <gasps> no worries! Why would anyone ever want to kiss little old me, right? <laughs> Normal! I can't believe you just wimped out on us over a tiny kiss. I have my standards. Kiss a frog? Never! I'd rather be eaten by an alligator! <laughs> What? <laughs> he got his wish. <laughs> do something. What can I do? Offer the alligator an after normal mint? You let go directly of that adorable cat! You, you fiend, you! <laughs> normal. <laughs> Pretty impressive, especially for a frog. You saved my life, um... Um, Fan Fan. Fan Fan. I'm sorry I said all those mean things. Oh, it doesn't mean I get my little kiss? <laughs> okay, but hurry up before I change my mind. I did good this time, didn't I, Fan Fan? Really convincing, wouldn't you say? Oh, they're still uh, here. Don't mind me. I'm gonna sit over there. Pay no attention. Wait, this whole thing was an act? You had me swallowed by this monster just to secure yourself a kiss? That is no monster! That is Monique! I wouldn't have swallowed you. Okay, maybe chew you like gum for a little bit, but that is all. I'm sorry. You have no idea what it's like to be, well, unattractive. No, no, I don't. I just thought, well, Ever since I was a little bitty pollywog, my mama used to tell me bedtime stories about handsome princes. They'd kiss a frog, <laughs> and the frog would turn into a beautiful princess. So when I heard you mention being like royalty, I... Oh. Well, um, never mind. <laughs> Let's go, Monique. <laughs> Yeah. 
most unsightly thing some folks have seen. You think that I can find a welcoming place if I put a smile <laughs> on my face? I know that beauty's from the heart. I'll remember that because I'm very smart. <laughs> Up, but we still have a long way to go on our journey home. We'll guide you to the end of the swamp. Hop on board. Who are you? Oh, don't go getting your gussy up, dog. I'm not going to eat you. <laughs> Just love a trip to one of our great national parks? Never, never trust guys who wear masks all the time. Oh, good night, Garfield. Good night, Odie. John's heading back to the city and he's left us. They're in like cheap raccoon costumes. We're lost. Is there any way you could guide us across the swamp we seem to be in? We'll guide you to the end of the swamp. Hop on board. <laughs> Squeak, I've been looking all over for you. Where you been? In the cookie jar, gnawing through rows. A bunch of raccoons have taken over the house. They're eating everything. <laughs> Those pets really eat and live well here, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Yep. I've had so much food, I can't see my feet anymore. Oh, don't worry, Farley. I can see them. They're still there. I gotta find a way to make John realize those aren't Garfield, Odie, and Normal in raccoon costumes. Oh, I can't eat another thing for a week. Us neither. And I think I know how. <laughs> But you can't talk to John. He doesn't even know he has mice in his house. He doesn't have to. As I recently learned, Garfield's favorite Italian restaurant now has online ordering. <laughs> oh, an order for one dozen lasagnas. Must be Senor Arbuckle. Ah, yes it is. How did I know that? <laughs> If I ate another bite, I'd explode. Garfield, Vito just delivered a dozen <laughs> lasagnas for you. Uh, more food? Take it away, take it away. Hmm. The real Garfield would never turn down lasagna. Oh, you, <gasps> you're real raccoons. <laughs> what have you done with Garfield? Hey. <laughs> no, how could I let those raccoons fool me for so long? Garfield, Odie, and Nermal have been out in the wild all night. Oh, I hope they're all right. What about the raccoons, Uncle John? Oh, I had a word with them. They have chores to do. 
Uh, that, that human's all right, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, leaving us the house while he's gone and all. Yeah, and being raccoons, we love washing stuff anyway. Oh, guys, guys, hurry. It's the season finale of Dancing with the has -beens. Oh, yeah, 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 I don't, don't want to miss that. Oh, no, me, me. I'm going to wash faster. This is it, guys. The desert starts here. <laughs> Here's a little gift to remember me by. It's from Paris, and none too cheap. Oh! I can't accept it. It's too beautiful for someone like me. <laughs> Thanks, Ben Ben. Thanks, Monique. I'm sorry you didn't become a princess. Maybe not, but I'm starting to feel a little bit like one. <laughs> We've been walking for hours, huh? and all I see is more sand and rocks. Is that really a giant bone in front of us? Of course not. Don't you know a mirage when you see one, Nermal? <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh. You'd think they'd know what a mirage is. Some of us are just too smart to fall for... Oh. <laughs> Imaginary or not, this lasagna is mine. Go find yourself another mirage. <laughs> Guys, over there, look! Bodie, come back here, you silly dog. It's probably another mirage. <laughs> He's right. It's really a road. With a bus stop and everything. If there's a bus stop, that means that sooner or later a bus will come along. We hop on it. We let it take us to where there's some people. We show them Odie's ID tag with John's address on it. And voila. And we'll be home in no time. <laughs> yes. No offense, Garfield, but I've had enough of you to last a lifetime. You've had enough? I was this close to abandoning you in those swamps just so I wouldn't hear any more of your constant whining. My constant whining? I am the world's outstanding cat. I don't think I'd agree with that. My face is known both far and wide. For making people run and hide. Hey, we just don't seem to get along. I didn't want to do this so. When, when we're, we're together, together, fights ensue. And, and it is all because of you. you. For we are best of best of best of best. License number of that eagle? Huh? <laughs> it's too late for Odie. Let's hop on that bus and save ourselves. You hop on that bus if you want, Nermal. Me, I'm going after Odie. What? I can't believe I'm doing this. Garfield, wait! I'm coming with you! <laughs>
where the giant bird took Odie. Odie! Are you up there? Huh? Hang in there, Odie. We're gonna come up there and get you. And how do you suggest we do that? Grow wings? <gasps> Maybe we can still catch that bus. No, we have to save him. Odie, find a way to get down here. We'll, uh, we'll wait here. Hey, Odie, what are you doing up there? We gotta get Odie out of here and fast. Well, what are we gonna do? I have an idea. <laughs> so what's the plan? Let's rock that thing. I don't like that plan at all. In fact, that's the worst idea I've ever. <laughs> Buddy, get down here, hurry! that bus before it gets dark. Just love a trip to one of our great national parks? Is that Celeste? It's a new show that tells all about what she's up to. Never, never trust guys who wear masks all the time. <laughs> John's heading back to the city and he's left us. Hmm, the real Garfield would never turn down lasagna. You! 
You're real raccoons! This is it, guys. The desert starts here. Oh, how could I let those raccoons fool me for so long? Garfield, Odie, and Nermal have been out in the wild all night! I've been looking for you all the mornings of my day. The newest hit recording by teen superstar Celeste St. Clair. We love you, Celeste! But does she still have it? Is her career on the downslide at age 16? No! No! That's what some are saying in advance of her big concert tonight. I've looked all over where we camped and there's no sign of them. They must have started walking, which means they could be anywhere by now. We might as well go home. We might never see them again. But at least we'll be home in time to watch the Celeste St. Clair! Garfield, Odie, Normal, where are you? I told you that bus stop was the other direction. Shh, listen. There's a car coming. Hey, hey stop! Here. We're here! Stop! Stop! stop. 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 I see another one way down the road. Among those who think Celeste St. Clair may be washed up is the famed hit movie and music producer, Tyler Edge. Celeste's sound has gotten predictable and boring. Predictable? <laughs> I'll show him. I'll show all of them. It's a limousine. Let's try to get their attention. Oh, I so don't need this in my life. Not now, when I have to find a new cleaning lady. Miss St. Clair will be at the concert hall in just a... No! <laughs> oh, what happened now? I, I couldn't do anything, madam. They suddenly appeared in the middle of the road. You, you'd better have a good lawyer. Wait, isn't that... Celeste St. Clair. She's that singer Drusilla and Minerva are wild about. I'm afraid we have no spare tire. The entire trunk is filled with autographed photos of you. Are you serious? I'm, like, performing in less than two hours. Then you'd best start hiking Miss St. Clair. It's about an hour's walk from here. I would head that way. Walk? You can walk with us. We're heading that way. Oh. Let me just get my tablet computer and a few other necessities. Gary, I'm counting on you. You are my arranger. You've got to come up with a new sound for me. They're saying I'm old-fashioned at age 16. Also, I need to find a new cleaning lady. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm late, I'm cold, I'm tired, I'm thirsty, I'm lost in the desert, and I'm actually talking to a dog and two cats. That's how upset this thing has gotten me. <laughs> Looks like you finally met your match, Nermy. She's an even bigger whiner than you are. Maybe, but I'm way cuter. I don't know, but I made that sound once when I foolishly slept with my tail out next to a rocking chair. Go, Yoris! Step forward, son of Sagari! Do what he says, Odie. I am Kawosa, son of Numuno. You have insulted our ancestors. Such crimes cannot go unpunished. Hey, this must be some sort of mistake, because Odie's never insulted anyone. I, on the other hand, I'm always... A coyote cannot walk alongside cats or men. No, there's a mistake here. See, Odie isn't really a cat. The heart of a true coyote is filled with courage. Prove yours, and we will let you go. You and your friends. Otherwise... You'll never leave this desert. We will not let you. Not until he shows bravery. <laughs> Oh, my God.
Crying? Not the best way to show bravery. Garfield, do something! <laughs> Chief, this dog is one of the bravest things on four legs. You must prove that, cat. Oh, I can't. Mind if I borrow this? Fortunately, they've already posted clips of this episode on the internet. They're really fast, you know. Let me show you how Odie has shown courage in just the last 24 hours. <gasps> Here he is, bravely escaping from a horde of poisonous insects after single-handedly destroying their hide. He heroically went over one of the world's largest waterfalls. He boldly rode on the back of an alligator. Oh. And most amazingly and fearlessly, he sat there and listened while Nermal did his big romantic solo in Act 3. Wow. He is brave. There is no doubt you may leave us with honors. Let us sing his praises. <laughs> I was wrong about you, my Brother, your tales of courage are truly inspiring. No, no, Mr. Edge. I'm sorry, it's just hard to hear out here, but I will be at the concert in time to perform. The concert is live on TV in 20 minutes. You'll never make it in time. Besides, your voice is trashed. <laughs> Call me crazy, it sounds like you've been walking in the desert. There is nothing wrong with my voice. Listen. This is where I belong. This is my homeland. Whoa, that's awesome. Your voice plus that howling thing I'm hearing. That's your new sound, Celeste. Your new hit sound. All of you, I don't know if you can understand me, but I've got to get to the concert hall in 20 minutes. And I want you coyotes to come along and sing on television with me. Us? Sing on television? I've always dreamed of being on TV. Hey, now I recognize her. She's Celeste St. Clair. She's my all-time fave. How do we get her to her concert in time? Maybe if enough of you help get this old wagon out of this ditch. Faster, guys! Faster! What if we never see Garfield or Odie or Normal again? Oh, it would be very sad, Uncle John. But right now, we want to watch Celeste St. Clair's concert! Are you ready for Celeste? Yeah! and disease made me yearn for the trees and this is where I belong somewhere that's grand and this is where I belong this is my homeland <laughs> is my homeland I saw buildings grow so high but I could not see the sky so I had to get the cure where the air is so pure and this is where I belong just as was planned this is where I belong this is my homeland this is where I belong This is my homeland I'm going to go lie down. I have this awful feeling I'll never see my furry friends again. They're on TV. What? They're on TV. Isn't that <laughs> them? <laughs> that's... That's them! Celeste! 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 
I don't know how he does it. I don't know how to thank you for bringing them home, Ms. St. Clair. Well, I found this address on Odie's dog tag, so I figured I should. Yeah, yeah, we know it was a rotten thing we done to you. No argument there. And we're really sorry, guys. Ooh, that's right. We are. We are. It's just that uh, we never had a chance to live in an actual, for real house before. Yeah, it's great here. <laughs> it's right. There's so much to wash, and we love doing that. When we go back to the forest, we're really gonna miss a roof. <laughs> Living in a house? Well, what are we gonna do about these guys? Hmm. Well, I have to be going. I'm desperate to find a new cleaning lady for my home. We're gonna get them a job. Ooh. Good news for superstar Celeste St. Clair. After months of searching for a good cleaning lady, she finally solved her problem. Three raccoons that now live and work in her 36-room mansion. They're keeping the place spotless. 36-room mansion? Meanwhile, Celeste's new album, produced by Tyler Edge, is number one in the world. It's a smash for her and her backup singers, a band of coyotes. The coyotes have recently signed their own recording contract, plus a three-picture deal to star in movies. Their own recording contract? Uh, th th three-picture deal? No. <laughs> Odie's right. It's just good to be home. That's so true. What matters is to be back home. <laughs> but I want to live in a 36-room mansion! And I want a three-picture deal! And I want, I want my own TV show, in HD, of course. I want a better contract. I want all the lasagna I can possibly eat. I'll have a radio show. Maybe on that side.